you suffer from the debilitating symptoms of chronic pain, swelling, and loss of joint motion due to arthritis? Are you taking drugs like Celebrex and Vioxx or other super aspirin prescriptions? If you are, you're increasing the risk of heart attack and stroke by up to 50%. This is Dr. Tom Rosell, host of Dr. Tom Rosell Live Sundays at 12 noon. Why live with pain or the dangerous side effects of drugs when the doctors at the Rosell Center for Healing practicing 21st century integrative medicine can help you experience relief like never before? Simple, safe, chiropractic, acupuncture, and nutritional care can provide significant relief from arthritic pain in less than six weeks. More than 70% of our patients experience a return to life far beyond their expectations. Give yourself the best gift possible, freedom from arthritic pain, naturally. Call today to schedule an appointment. Call 703-698-7117 or visit online at rosellcare.com. Join Dr. Tom Roselle for a movie viewing of Ageless Health, the special. Ageless Health is a hard-hitting documentary based on the modernization of holistic health, natural care, and integrative medicine. You won't want to miss this Emmy Award-nominated documentary film. Proceeds benefit Caring for Others, LTD. Ageless Health, the special, showing at the Angelica Film Center Mosaic in Fairfax, Virginia, on Sunday, January 26th at 2 p.m. For tickets and more information, visit agelesshealthmovie.com. Dr. Tom Roselle live right now on 105.9 FM and AM 630 WMAL. Welcome to Dr. Tom Roselle live. This is Dr. Tom Roselle live in studio waiting to take your phone calls. It's a rainy day outside. It's one of those kind of yucky and kind of gloomy days, but nevertheless, we're here to talk to you. So give us a call at 888 That's 888 Perhaps you've had a problem, you've tried, you've applied, and you come up with the same old, same old, something that really doesn't work much, and maybe it's made it worse, and maybe you just have given up. Well, here's the opportunity. That's why we do this program every Sunday at 12 noon, to try to give you a different perspective, a different look on things, to be able to let your body do the job it was designed to do, that you were born to be able to handle all the way through. 888 This month in our office, January, as we do every year, the Mogwai Centers of Fairfax, working in conjunction with us, offers you the opportunity to have a full-body thermographic scan, normally $475 for only $400. And we'd like to encourage you to take advantage of that. And what does that mean? What is thermographic imaging? Well, thermographic imaging... Uh, evaluates the heat signal coming off of your body in different systems, off of your arteries, off of the immune points, off of joint spaces. Ladies, if you begin to develop the beginning stages of breast cancer, five to eight years before the actual mass, the tumor shows up, you have to develop a blood supply. And once the blood supply is intact, that's when the the tumor begins to avail itself. So with thermographic imaging, what you get to notice is you see the blood supply well in advance, and it actually makes, in my opinion, mammographic imaging something that you should do only on a very rare occasion because mammography, by the way, has up to a 20% error rate of false positives and false negatives. So when you add the ability to be able to see the developing heat signal of the blood supply and of the mass, it gives you the opportunity to do something early. So if you'd like to take advantage of that and get a full body thermographic uh, scan for $400 instead of the normal 475 actually you can call our office at 703-698-7117. That's 703-698-7117 and tell my staff that you'd like to hook up with Thermography Centers of Fairfax we're sharing receptions, and they'll hook you up. Dareth Painter is a certified uh, thermographer, and she will be the one that will handhold you all the way through it. Uh, and these, these images go out to a group of about 15 medical uh, physicians. That's all they do is read these scans. You'll get a copy of the report back for you, and you'll get a copy back of the report for your doctor. 703-698-7117, take advantage of it. have several things that I want to talk to you about today, things that I think will kind of say, really, I didn't know that. How about 
something as very simple as an herb that if you take on a regular basis can prevent all kinds of things, uh, including nausea and indigestion and cold symptoms and cancers and so forth. And we're going to talk about that, and it's very simple. It's available to all all of you. The only side effect is that you might be allergic to it. And then there's other resources in addition to that, but we'll talk about that as we go in the, the program. In addition to that, we're going to talk about a drug that many of you ladies are taking, and some men, it's a group of drugs that are going to cause you very severe problems, such as fractures, such as losing the bone within the, the jaw of your mouth, losing... Uh, your immunological function, increasing your risk of certain types of cancers and so forth. But this drug is common. It's one that almost invariably, uh, if you have a certain type of condition, they're going to write the script. And we're going to talk about that. But before we get into that, let's talk a little bit about joint stability, the ability of your knees and your shoulders and, and your hips to maintain a, a stable situation so you can function at a very high level. If you have a question on this or any other subject, obviously call me, 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-9625. A recent article by a doctor by the name of George Roth kind of got my attention because it's something that I've been aware of for a long time. And it talks about the stability of joint spaces as they relate to different types of procedures, meaning do the procedures make things worse or do they make them better? So, you know, we have weekend warriors. You guys are out there right now and you're shoveling snow. Unfortunately, in our area, I left western New York State to try to get away from that. But you're out there shoveling snow and you're, you're trying to chop the ice and some of you go skiing and you're doing some sledding and you're doing some ice skating and you're slipping and falling and so forth. And you're finding that... The joints that you thought had kind of gone into this, you know, this sleep mode where they weren't bothering you, they just kind of limiting your function, now are screaming, and they're giving you all kinds of problems. You've gone through the drugs, and some of you go out and you do whatever you do, and you have to have braces on, you have to have a soft brace or a hard brace, and you start looking like the, you know, the bionic uh, man and woman. Well... There's always a why is that, and and many of you know that I will always tell you that you had your hand in this process of degeneration. You've had this uh, hand in your process of pain and so forth. Well, when we look at joints, and over the years I've noticed that all of us from professional athletes to weekend warriors to just those of us who go to work and, you know, are on our feet or are bent, there's an incredible capacity of likeness. And what I mean is that the same process is really there. It's just, you know, if we're, if we're an athlete, we're going to make the breakdown happen faster. So in all walks of life, we find the need to overcome pain and, you know, this limiting conditions of joint instability. And there's all kinds of things that we do, and whether they're, they're supports or they're pills or they're injections and so forth, but the bottom line is the, the, the matrix of assessment to find out what really is the underlying problem is similar. It's a stick that you can kind of say, it's this pretty much all the time. So when I consider uh, treating a patient who has joint instability, whether it's a knee or a hip or whatever, I have to look at what's taking place over a period of time. We know that the spine has nerves that go to these joints, meaning the joint muscles as well. And a joint can only be stable as much as the muscles around them are stable. So musculoskeletal biomechanics are primary in making any kind of assessment determination relative to what happens. If muscles are not firing the way they're supposed to, and they're not firing because there's a nerve that's being irritated in the spine, you have to fix that. If the muscle is not working because it's been damaged, and underlying that damage there was high levels of inflammation, if you don't put out the inflammatory reaction, then you're going to get a cascade of degenerative disease that takes place over time, and then your doctor says, well, you know, we're going to have to clean the joint out. We're going to have to go in and scrape it, or we're going to inject a steroid into it, or, you know, we're going to do some type of invasive something to kill the pain to give you a little bit more function. What I'm saying to you is that, unfortunately, that's the wrong direction to take, and we need to look at and reinforce the idea that a comprehensive 
integrative approach without drugs, without surgery, may be far more beneficial. There was an article that was written in the New England Journal of Medicine, and it goes back to 2009. Yeah, I'm one of these pack rats. I save everything. But it brings out the idea of what we're talking about. It was questioning the usefulness of arthroscopic surgery for any type of osteoarthritis of the knee or the shoulder or uh, anything of that nature. And it compared what would you do, what would happen if you didn't do that procedure compared to if you did that procedure. And the facts were really unbelievable, and meaning unbelievable for most physicians that actually took the time to read this thing. It's in their own journal. But the study found that conservative forms of therapy, whether it's chiropractic or acupuncture or some physical therapy combined with dietary changes and things that was just as effective at relieving the pain and more effective in increasing functional capacity than any surgical procedure that they could come up with. Surgery utilized in the study what they looked like was debridement. That means they get in and they scrape out the joint space. And it wasn't surgery to fix a problem, such as you know when you actually tear the meniscus. Obviously, if you tear this little cartilage that sits in between the joint space and there's a, a, a little piece that's flipped under, you gotta go out and you gotta take that out of there. But when we're talking about degenerative disease, if you change the environment, if you change the functional capacity of the joint, and the environment means you, your body, then you can change the way the body handles these types of things. These findings were uh, reinforced by a, a broad-based follow-up, and a lot of this done was done at the University of Southern California and their division of biokinesiology and uh, physical therapy. It was quite interesting because it's something that we've been talking about for years. If we take a patient who actually listens to us, changes their, their biochemistry, their dietary patterns, and they do it exactly. They don't give themselves any wiggle room. They get their body alkaline. You put the joint space back in a mechanical pattern that uh, is actually functional. Now your inflammation goes away, and your joint space now has the capacity to begin to rehab and repair over time. You combine that with exercise, and lo and behold, you have a joint space that actually can work at a very high level. So if you'd like to see that article, check out the New England Journal of Medicine uh, article, and this goes back to February 19, 2009. It's very interesting. I would encourage you to do that. But joint stability as a symptom of core injury is something that we have to look at. What do I mean by core injury? That means that your body itself has not uh, been stable. You're not doing the things that you need to do to make sure that your entire biomechanical system can work. So when you look at, oh, my knee hurts or my shoulder hurts or, you know, I can't lift my leg the way, that, the way it should, the, the paradigm that we're talking about is a whole core pattern of instability. The manual therapies that are used to stabilize this, if you will, and make things happen better are designed specifically to where the initiators are. What do I mean by that? Where are the initiators? Well, we look at everything from a structural, chemical, emotional pathway. And so there isn't anything that happens in your body, in any disease or dysfunction or disharmonic uh, process that doesn't come from either injury or biochemical insult, things that you eat that you shouldn't, things that you need more of that you don't get enough of, or stress patterns. The body doesn't know the difference, by the way, between something that you uh, do to yourself, something that you neglect in yourself, or something you emotionalize or think about. If your brain isn't firing the way it's supposed to, it's going to have a profound effect on everything else. So we look at the body and ask the question, could the unstable joint, in fact, be related to something else? And is that something else that is there, what was the initiator of that? Let's take an example. Your knee is a joint that is controlled by several muscles. One of the major muscles is the thigh muscle. The thigh muscle is a two-hinged muscle. It affects the hip and it affects the knee. So when you kick your knee out or you try to kick somebody or you try to push yourself up the stairs or whatever, that thigh muscle called the quadriceps is the one that's firing. Well, that has interventions. The, the third and fourth lumbar nerve root, the, the nerves that come from your low back, go to that muscle. 
So if you have a back problem, then the muscle can't fire. If the muscle can't fire, then you leave yourself open to injury. Now, in our work, in the specialty that we have called applied kinesiology, we look at dietary, we look at acupuncture. We're going to talk a little bit more about that when we come back. We're coming up to a break. We have to pay attention to some of the people who bring you Dr. Thomas all live. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Did you know that routine mammograms can increase radiation exposure to breast tissue 1,000 times over a chest x-ray? Now consider a simple, non-invasive, and totally safe medical procedure approved by the FDA since 1982 that can detect breast cancer five to eight years before it can be visualized on a mammogram. Infrared thermographic imaging can accurately detect the initial signs of breast cancer as increased blood supply and metabolic rate, which is recorded as heat. Why expose yourself to radiation when accurate and safe medical detection is available? Call the Thermography Center of Fairfax to schedule a breast exam today at 703-948-7248. That's 703-943-7248. For more information, visit www.thermographyscan.net. That's thermographyscan.net for the Thermography Center of Fairfax. The Roselle Center for Healing is a proud supporter of breast cancer awareness and reminds you to conduct a monthly breast self-examination and a thermographic breast scan as part of your annual wellness checkup. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. After 35 years of practice and almost three quarters of a million patient visits, the Rosell Center for Healing knows what works and knows how you can take control of your health and wellness. My team of doctors practice 21st century integrative medicine. Whether you suffer from chronic pain and fatigue, allergies, or headaches, we can help. Take charge of your health before it's too late. Make an appointment today. Call 703-698-7117 or visit online at rosellecare.com. This is Dr. Tom Rosell, author of Ageless Health, Health is a Do-It-Yourself Program. My book, now also available in audio version, is a step-by-step program of how to take control of your health and wellness without drugs or needless surgery. You have the capacity to change your health and level of well-being. Take control of your health today and order Health is a Do-It-Yourself Program. For more information and to order, please visit agelesshealthbook.com. That's agelesshealthbook.com. Dr. Tom Rosell Live continues now on 105.9 FM and AM 630 WMAL. Welcome back. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rosell Live in studio. Give me a call, 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-9625. I'd love to talk to you. Let's see what's going on in your body and perhaps give you some alternatives, some options to be able to try something different for a change, something that might actually work. We're talking a little bit about joint instability and that there's an underlying why is that. And we quoted a article that was published actually a couple, three, four, five years ago on uh, the subject from the New England Journal of Medicine, one of the foremost prestigious uh, uh, magazines in the healthcare arena in the medical field. And February 19, 2009, it was uh, the effectiveness uh, of conservative care versus arthroscopic knee surgery for degenerative joint disease. And basically what the article is saying is that uh, do something other than surgery because surgery messes things up and it can cause things to degenerate rapidly. And then you're put on medications as it comes back and they say, what do you expect for your age? And, you know, you've been through the drill and many of you unfortunately have suffered the consequences of that. Now, if there's a meniscal tear or something like that where you've got a little piece that's flapping around there and it's locking the joint space up, surgical intervention is what's necessary. But the area of degeneration is a result of so many other things that are taking place, and that's what we're trying to get you to understand is that those other pieces of the puzzle have to be addressed, whether they're dietary or you, you've been living in chronic pain because the nerves are being irritated or there's muscle imbalance uh, or the energetic systems are off. But when you combine the multidiscipline approach to handling any sort of problem, regardless of what it is, but particularly with joint problems, and you really just to step up and get something done, you change almost anything. I was reading an article that we were talking about the the difference between a promise and a commitment. You know, we just got through New Year's Eve and we made all types of resolutions. I resolved to do this. I promised to do this. I, you know, it's really a very weak type of situation. A commitment is a must. It's something that you will never back away from. So what I'm going to encourage you to do is instead of making promises to yourself, 
make commitments and say, and how you make a commitment is simply this. You've got you to look at the pain pattern. You've got to get enough emotional pain in your brain that says, you know, if I do this, I'm going to get worse. If I, change, if I don't change my diet permanently and really put things in there that are alkalizing and supportive, not only is my energy going to go down the tubes and my brain's not going to work this supposed to, but I'm going to continue to hurt. I'm going to hurt like crazy. If that's what you want, if you want to continue to cause the, the progression of pathology ultimately to the place where it's either going to take away the quality of your life or it's going to take away the, the time of your life, that's a choice, but it's not one that I would encourage you to make. Love to take your phone calls, 888-630-9625. Talked about a simple herb, and we're going to get back into a lot of this, and I want to talk to you about something that is so easily found, and the side effects are, are nil, they're not there, that you can use on a daily basis every other day to soothe your digestion, to decrease nausea, uh, even to get rid of cold symptoms and all kinds of problems, and also very, very effective in helping irritable bowel problems, and you can uh, uh, also go after certain types of cancers. What am I talking about? I'm talking about peppermint. Peppermint, something that simple. Uh, the fact sheet on, on peppermint is really, you know, kind of, you know, this simple thing can work. And the, the, it, it, yes, the, the only side effect is a potential allergy type of condition. And, and the herb peppermint is kind of a cross between two different types of herbs. One is uh, a water mint, and the other one is a spearmint. And they put those two together, and now you got peppermint. And this thing grows all over the place. and grows in Europe and North America, and it's uh, often used to flavor different types of foods. And, you know, they dry it. They can use it in leaf form. But if you can get peppermint oil, if you have any of these problems and you get peppermint oil, the effect is profound. It's amazing. It's something that you should have. You know, have a little peppermint tea after dinner. You know, just kind of relax afterwards and, you know, just sip on it and let, let your dinner kind of, you know, digest. It'll help. It makes a huge difference. There's capsules uh, that contain uh, uh, the peppermint oil. I particularly like, when you have a problem, I like the oils. I like the tinctures. They seem to work the best. And this is one of those, those herbal preparations that we've used and recommended to our patients for years. And it's all over the place. Just make sure you get organic forms. Uh, Herb Farm is one that produces um, uh, peppermint oil, and just go get it. Keep it in your house and sip on it as a tea. I think that you'll really like it and you'll really appreciate it. I want to go back to the ad that you heard before the break, and then we're going to get into some really fascinating things when we come back uh, from our our news and, and advertising. On January 26th, you're going to have the opportunity to watch the PBS WIDA twice-nominated Emmy Award production, Ageless Health. Uh, it's a TV special. And we were very proud. It's on the work that we do. It's, it looks at everyday cases. And these cases, you might say, aren't quite everyday. Uh, what, they, what they're looking at is people who have MS, people who had degenerative disease, people who had ADD and ADHD, people who had such severe allergic reactions that they would go into anaphylaxis and seizure patterns and so forth. A, uh, a problem with a, a man who had profound migraines and TIAs, many strokes. And every one of these cases, these people were on huge amounts of medication, and they were able to get off of them completely and go into full resolution. And there was, there's been no return of any of these symptoms with the years that we've treated these people. This is a profound, profound study on the course of integrative therapies. I will be there. My staff will be there. I will do a very uh, slight introduction. And all this money, by the way, is going to cost you $10 for a seat. All the money goes to caring for others to support their needs. If you'd like to um, be there with us, go into our website. Go to rosellcare.com, and you can do it right online. There's discounts for, you know, two, three, four, five tickets. So if you go as a group, you know, it costs you less. But, again, all the money goes to them. Uh, if you'd like to call our office, obviously we have tickets at 703-698-7117. And then afterwards, I'm going to do some Q&A. So we'll be able to meet and greet and shake hands. Those of you that I've never met, I'd love to meet you. Just, you know, be there. And it'll be an amazing opportunity to see what happens with integrative therapy. So that's January the 26th. Where is it going to be? At the Mosaic Theater in Merrifield. The Mosaic is... Uh, incredible place. It's uh, 
as actually it's the Angelica Film Center. I'm getting a little confused. Angelica Film Center at the Mosaic in Merrifield, and it's very comfortable. It's in, in kind of a auditorium style. Uh, we'll be there. I promise you that you'll enjoy this thing. I promise you that it's going to make you think differently than what you have over a period of time when it comes to any type of disease process. But join me. It'll be fun. Call us or go online at rosellcare.com. We're coming up to the news, and we have to take a break right now, but don't go away. I'll be right back with more fascinating things for you. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. After 35 years of practice and almost three-quarters of a million patient visits, the Rosell Center for Healing knows what works and knows how you can take control of your health and wellness. My team of doctors practice 21st century integrative medicine. Whether you suffer from chronic pain and fatigue, allergies, or headaches, we can help. Take charge of your health before it's too late. Make an appointment today. Call 703-698-7117 or visit online at rosellcare.com. This is Dr. Tom Rosell, author of Ageless Health, Health Is, a do-it-yourself program. My book, now also available in audio version, is a step-by-step -step program of how to take control of your health and wellness without drugs or needless surgery. You have the capacity to change your health and level of well-being. Take control of your health today and order Health Is, a do-it-yourself program. For more information and to order, please visit agelesshealthbook.com. That's agelesshealthbook.com. If you're looking for the best in natural health, wellness, and green living products, shop the Roselle Web Store on Amazon.com. You'll find a variety of products and resources that are designed to help achieve an ultimate state of health and wellness. Shop the Roselle Web Store on Amazon.com today. Visit DrTomRoselle.com and click on Roselle Web Store. That's DrTomRoselle.com and click on Roselle Web Store. Educate. Engage. Empower. Take control of your health with Dr. Tom Roselle and the Roselle Center for Healing. Information is power. Achieve an ultimate state of wellness with Dr. Tom Roselle's Education Lecture Series Video On Demand. Discover how to create an extraordinary life of optimal health and wellness. Visit drtomrosellecom slash education. That's drtomrosellecom slash education. Dr. Tom Rosell Live continues now on 105.9 FM and AM 630 WMAL. Welcome back. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rosell Live in studio. Give me a call, 888-630-9625, 888-630-9625. want to remind you, Thermography Centers of Fairfax offering full-body thermographic imaging for the month of January only. Usually $475, now $400. You can call our office to schedule if you'd like at 703-698-7117 and tell them that you'd like to take advantage of Thermography Centers of Fairfax January special. have a lot of things I want to cover with you yet, but we do have some phone calls, and I'd like to get to the, the calls. Fran, you're calling from Boston. Thank you. How can I help you? Doctor, which treatments work for thrush? Child or an adult, Fran? Adult. Okay, so the when an adult ends up with thrush, it's usually because they've been on all kinds of medications, usually antibiotics and steroids. Exactly. And, and what's happened is it's knocked out all the normal flora, and then their body becomes, because of the therapy, but underlying that as well, their body is sweet, and that means that it's not alkaline, it's acidic. And so subsequently, you've got to do a lot of different things, but you've got to change the environment of the body. Otherwise, any kind of uh, therapy that you're going to use is going to become uh, for naught. So you've got to get all the sugars out, all the sugars and anything that is sweet, anything that goes into uh, a sugar quickly, like white flowers, white, uh, white rices. Um, make sure that you know, there's, there's uh, very minimal or no fruit whatsoever, no fruit juices and basically vegetables and proteins, and the only grains that you should have would be limited amounts of grain, keeping the, car the, the total carbohydrate count under 100 to 110 uh, uh, a day. So that's where you want to start with. But the things that treat it, the first thing you want to do is get a very, very powerful acidophilus, and it causes the, the mold, the fungus in the body to begin to uh, not be able to duplicate and replicate, and it you can't have it. If you're doing any kind of yogurt, 
Uh, I would be very careful with it, but make sure that it's it's a unsweetened yogurt, obviously, and I would do goat, and I would do it organic, and I would do it homemade with homemade cultures. I'm not a fan. I would use much much higher levels of a probiotic to, to do that. Um, there are a lot of herbal uh, therapies. Uh, for example, grapeseed extract and tea tree oil, they'll work very nicely, and you have to take them several times a day. Uh, uh, most of the stuff, it should be under the guidance of somebody who really knows what they're doing, but you can start it this way. Uh, a food food grade Hydrogen peroxide will also help, and you have to do two things with this, which you would swish your mouth out with it, and you let it bubble, and you get rid of it, but a food grade, because regular hydrogen peroxide can be caustic as often as you're going to need to use this, which is about three times a day, but you want to also take your toothbrush, and you want to brush your teeth several times during the day, and then you want to soak your toothbrush in hydrogen peroxide to kill the mold and kill the fungus. Garlic and garlic oil work very, very well. In the old days, we used to use ginseng, uh, not ginseng, I'm sorry, uh, ginseng violet, uh, and we would paint the mouth to get rid of it. So there are many things that you can do. It's, it's not difficult to treat. Uh, that's providing that the dietary patterns are, are changed, uh, you can get rid of this uh, fairly rapidly, but if you don't do it long term, meaning changing the diet and keeping that stable and re-implementing good, strong uh, probiotics in the intestinal tract, it's going to come back again. So yeah. that's that's something for you to start. Where in Boston are you? Are you in Boston or outside the area? Um, no, Crofton, Maryland. Oh, you're in Crofton, Maryland. I'm sorry. They were telling me that you were calling from Boston. I was getting mm-hmm. excited that somebody was listening to me on the Internet up there. No, I'll tell you what you do. Uh, you can either come and see us uh, nutritionally or give me, send me a note, and I'll try to make a referral for you into that area. Somebody who does this type of thing. Uh, there's also apple cider vinegar is something that has been used over the years to get rid of oral thrush. Uh, it's kind of interesting. Uh, that it, it would handle this type of thing because it's a, a fermented uh, process. But uh, ap- using apple cider vinegar, uh, just swishing your mouth out with it and also taking it on an empty stomach in the morning uh, can make huge, huge shifts in the environment that the thrush works in. So you would take like one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in a glass of water and just drink it and do it on an empty stomach every morning, and then you can take a little bit of it and just swish your mouth out with it as well. But I prefer the for the mouth, for the oral solution, I prefer the food-grade hydro, uh, hydrogen peroxide therapy. So let me know. I appreciate it. And, th- Fran, thanks for your call. Thank you so Triple- much. You're welcome. Triple eight six three zero nine six two five. Triple eight six three zero nine six two five. Antibiotic therapies and cortisone and steroids and that nonsense cause these problems, and they they're a mess, and they cause your immune system to break down, and other things start growing from that. They can predispose to uh, different types of cancers within the body. Not a super good thing. Ladies, we talked a little bit about uh, a problem that affects many of you because of the drugs that you're being given for something that I think is extremely preventable, something that, you know, if you take these drugs, are going to cause increase in risk in certain types of cancers. They're going to cause uh, bones to break. They're going to cause your esophagus uh, and your jaw bones and so forth to really degenerate. It's awful. What am I talking about? I'm talking about bisphosphonates. It's a group of drugs that are used for osteoporosis. And bisphosphonates are things like Fosamax and Zometa and Reclass and Boniva and Actinil and A-Class. And, you know, it, the list goes on. You get the point. These medications have been linked to very, very severe injuries uh, to the long bones of the body. They tell you that it's going to harden your bones. And it does, but it hardens it by killing it. And so it's strong vertically, but it makes it much weaker horizontally. And so you increase your risk. Not only that, but you end up with something called uh, osteonecrosis of the jaw. Osteonecrosis is when the jaw begins to basically melt. You lose all the the calcium. You're going to lose your teeth. And then they try to give one drug after the other to overcome that. But you increase these problems. You don't solve them. You actually cause them to become worse. So if you're on a bisphosphonate and, you know, particularly... 
to treat things like osteoporosis, osteopenia, Paget's disease, and the like, you're increasing your risk of all kinds of normal bone uh, cells usually die and then they're replaced. It's, it's osteoblastic, osteoclastic activity. But the bisphosphonates, they're designed to slow the absorbing of dead bone cells. They want to slow them down. So what do you have? You can't replace the new bone. So the new bone can't form and the old dead bone is still there. That's why I'm t- saying that you have dead bone after that. And uh, a study that was recently published by the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons said that in the early treatment period, patients using bisphosphonates experienced improvements in all parameters, and then they went back and they found that that wasn't the truth, and it actually causes degeneration and worsening of the condition. There's a huge warning now that takes place on that. 888 we have a caller, and we want to go directly to that phone call. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. How can I help you? Hello? Hi, you're on. Okay, good. Uh, I am interested in the information that they're coming out with that DHA is linked with cancer, some kinds of cancer. DHA is linked with cancer. Yes. Um, yes and no. The This research that... Um, when did, are you talking about DHEA or DHA? No, I'm talking the, about the, DHA. Okay, so the omega fatty acids. Yes. Uh, no, um, that's not true. It's just like uh, of, about a year ago, they, they came out with uh, a whole thing about men and uh, prostate cancer and so forth, and I think that's probably what you're talking about. I think that uh, might be too. I just heard yeah. about this recently. Yeah, no, this, uh, the study was, uh, first came out about a year ago, and then it was republished again last July. And it talked about not just DHEA, but the omega-3 supplements directly that uh, related to uh, prostate cancer in men. And uh, let me give you as much data as I can, I can give you. The, 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 the truth it is it was debunked. Uh, if this was true, I probably would have given more men and more women uh, cancers over the 37 years I've been practicing. And actually, the opposite is actually true. Uh, taking omega-3 supposedly was associated with an uh, increased risk of developing a low-grade prostate cancer in uh, most men. And they did a, the study was first a, a very, very small study. It was about 800 men and that had already been diagnosed with prostate cancer. Okay. And... What they did is they went back and they said, well, these guys were taking uh, these omega-3 fatty acids, uh, the EPAs, the uh, DPAs, the DHEAs, and they said, well, because they were taking these things, in this study, these, these guys had cancer, and it was because of the DHA and the EPA and so forth. Totally untrue. And so what you're, what you're dealing with is, you know, you're, you're skewing the information to serve your point. Yes. And it was, you know, the Journal of the National Cancer Institute was the one that, you know, put this out, and they said that the evidence suggested, and that's that's their their escape term, that fatty acids play a role in prostate cancer. Well, the, one of the lowest areas of prostate cancer is in the Mediterranean, where people eat a lot of fish and olive oil and so forth, which is very high in the omega threes. So it's a lot of bunk, in you know, uh, my opinion, number one. But number two, subsequent articles, if you just go online and you go. Uh, uh, EPAs, DHAs, or just omega-3 fatty acids as uh, related to cancers, but then uh, do the do the whole research study. Joe Mercola, uh, you go to Mercola, M-E-R-C-O-L-A, Mercola.com. Joe's an osteopath, and he is a very sharp nutritionist, and you know he talks about this stuff, and he has 26 people that do research and writing for him. So if you look at that you'll find that there'll be articles that will give you all the data, the hardcore facts, you know, that will modify this. I try to get on as often as I can and, you know, to, to publish this. And if you follow, you know, our website and our Facebook uh, site, we will always put these things on as they come up. But I appreciate your phone call. Thank okay. you. I hope that helps okay. a little bit. Thank but you. Yes, don't... yes, sir, very much. Thank you. You're welcome. 888 we have another call from Arlington. How can I help you? This is Dr. Tom Rosell. Yes, hi. Uh, I have pain in both my thumb joints. I, I've never had it uh, sort of analyzed to see if it's uh, arthritis, but uh, I was wondering, uh, you know, it's, it's kind of like inflammatory type pain. I was wondering how I might treat something like that. 
When did it start? Does the, let me I'm ask you a couple questions. Probably started about six months ago. I'm 60 years old. Okay. Do the thumbs lock down in, in a tight position, no. or are no, they just it's painful? Just, it's difficult to twist a, the top of a you know a, a lid off. It's difficult you know like writing with a pen. I mean, any time I use my thumb, it's it's painful. Okay, so let, let's talk about it. The, the, the thumbs, the fingers, the joints of the hand are all controlled by muscles. Those muscles are controlled by nerves. If the muscles aren't firing properly, it can be the nerves that are not firing, and those come from your neck. So you could have neck soreness and, and discomfort, or you can just have nerves that are being stretched or irritated or pinched that are causing the muscles of your hands not to work. So now if the muscles aren't working, the more you do things, whether you're twisting something off or you're on a typewriter or you're on a mouse or anything like that, you're going to irritate that joint, and the thumb becomes uh, a problem. You can have a a carpal tunnel pattern and the nerve the median nerve is truly what goes to the thumb and the first finger the index finger that carpal tunnel the bones of your wrist are called the carpal bones there's a little groove in there they call a tunnel now that can be irritated either by stretch or compression and so subsequently your thumbs are going to hurt but you still have to trace it back it could start in the wrist it could start in the elbow it can start in the shoulder it can start in the neck and if you treat the underlying problem where it's coming from then your muscles will get stronger and you don't have the pain. The, if you have an inflammatory, uh, low-line inflammatory level, any injury, any joint space problem is going to become worse. Uh, you know, my mantra again, sugar, sodas, coffee, teas, fast food, fried foods, alcohol, gluten, additives, preservatives. If your gut is a mess, if your intestinal tract is not working, a low-level inflammation exists in all your joint spaces, so any kind of trauma, even gentle trauma, then becomes a problem that can cause degenerative joint disease, i.e. arthritis, but arthritis is a symptom. It's not something that just happens. So it can be fixed. It's, it's something that we do every day. I hope that gives you a little bit more of an insight, but, yes, you can be taken care of. Thanks for the Thank phone you. call. I appreciate it. This is too fast of a program. We have more people waiting as well, and I know we're coming up to a break, so I'm going to try to take another call or two when we come back. Uh, there's so much I'd like to share with you. It's one of those days there's much out. I want to remind you coming up on the 26th of January, we're going to be at the Mosaic in Merrifield at the Angelica Film Center, and it'll give you the opportunity to view Ageless Health, the TV movie. It was twice nominated for Emmy Awards. We really, we're really proud of it, and we'd like you to see it as well. Go online, roselcare.com, and you can check it out. We'll be right back after some very important information. Don't go away. Dr. Tom Rosell Live continues now on 105.9 FM and AM 630 WMAL. Welcome back. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rosell Live. We've been in studio as we are every Sunday at 12 noon, bringing you the most intimate and updated information on integrative care from a multidisciplinary approach, looking at all those things that happen to you from the position of the triad of health, injuries and biochemical imbalances, you know, things you eat you shouldn't, things that you need more of that you don't get enough of, and emotional stress patterns and how they affect your neurophysiology and ultimately producing symptoms and then because we ignore them or we drug them to death, they produce pathology. The Result Center for Healing is here to help you and to try to uh, get you through the, the matrix of all these things that take place. Love to have you uh, as our guest at any of our in-house presentations, and as most of you know, every other week starting within another week, we're going to begin our in-house continuing education programs. You're welcome to attend. Uh, The next one will be Dr. Scott Lamp, and we'll talk to you about that next Sunday, and ergonomics, environmental stuff, but you're welcome to attend our, our healthcare programs that we do in addition to that. So we usually have something going every week. If you'd like to find out, you can go to rosellcare.com. That's R-O-S-E-L-L-E-C-A-R-E.com. Check it out, and you can call the office and ask our staff when the next presentation is. Those of you who've been, you know they're over the top. My guys are great. Uh, they present extremely, extremely useful, very detailed and applicable information. Let's go to the phones. We have another caller, Joan from Bethesda. How can I help you? Uh, yes, I've had uh, tinnitus ringing in the ears for years. I've also been told it's called Meniere's disease, and I'm on a diuretic that they said might help it, but it 
hasn't done a thing. I was also told there's an injection called Janet. I forget the name. Okay, okay, okay. Stop, stop. Right. First of all, you don't you don't have Meniere's. Uh, bringing in the ears by itself is not Meniere's. That's one of several different things. You can end up with ext- usually when you have very extreme vertigo, you know, where you feel like you're spinning around very, very bad, and you you get, and you suddenly stop. That's the feeling you get with Meniere's, uh, and the room continues to spin, and you look like you're going to lose balance, and you just, you're going to fall. Yeah, I don't uh, have that. <laughs> no, you don't have Meniere's. And, no. it can, and it can be, you can have nausea and vomiting, you can, uh, hearing loss, ringing in the ears. Uh, there can be tremendous pressure uh, because of that. So that's why, you know, nothing that they're going to do is going to help you that way. The ringing in the ears often is a result of one of several things. If the pitch, the ringing in the pitch is very high, then it has to do with liver energy, liver uh, toxicity, and so forth. And there's ways of handling that. There's herbs, there's nutrients that make a big difference. If it's very low and kind of rumbling, uh, that has to do with the energy that comes from the kidney. Sometimes injury to the neck or degenerative disease, uh, arthritic conditions that cause the vertebrae to misalign and put pressure on the lower portion of what we call the brain stem will cause that to occur. And in most of those situations, those are fixable. Uh, we treat those those things all the time, but it's definitely not Meniere's. You don't have Meniere's, and they're playing mm-hmm. around with medications that are going to cause you more problems. The uh, the, the diuretics are going to cause uh, potassium to be pulled out of your body. You're going to feel more weak. Your heart could start skipping beats. Uh, need to talk to somebody like us that uh, knows how to handle this thing without going into this craziness. Uh, but Meniere's, mm-hmm. you know, headaches and double vision, and you can ultimately end up, uh, you know, with uh, losing consciousness, falling. It's it's a it's a mess. You don't have Meniere's. Okay. Thank yeah, you. Give us if we can help you in any way, Joan. Please give us a call. Appreciate it. All right. Thank the, you. Bye bye. You're welcome. This program is way too short. I'd love to handle all of your problems as effectively as we possibly can. But, alas, we only have an hour, and that's the way things are. But we have a lot of things planned for our patients and for you this this coming year in 2014. We're here to help you in any possible way that we can think of, that we can put together to make life better so you can upgrade your life, so you can enjoy your life, so you can become fully committed and involved in your life. Remember, I said there are commitments and there are resolutions, right? So I want you to commit to yourself that never again will you ignore your health, that never again will you listen to people say that this is the only way you can handle something, that there are other ways, there are non-drug, non-surgical ways. I'm here next week, 12 o'clock, same old time, same old place. This is Dr. Rizal. Bye. Are you dental phobic? Do you neglect your dental health because of fear and anxiety? A beautiful smile begins with exceptional dental care, and you can trust in the expertise of Soft Touch Dental Care and Dr. Michael Chung. Soft Touch Dental Care is unlike any dentist office you'll ever experience. Their warm and welcoming environment is designed to soothe fears and anxiety the moment you arrive, and they're especially pleased to pamper their honored guest patients. Dr. Michael Chung is a professional and leading expert in all areas of comprehensive dentistry, including cosmetic, sedation, neuromuscular, TMJ, and implant dentistry. Offering state-of-the-art technology, Dr. Chung can give you the smile of your dreams. Arrange for a complimentary consultation today with Dr. Michael Chung and experience the expertise that makes Dr. Michael Chung so unique. Call 703-319-6990. That's 703-319-6990. Or visit bestinsmile.com. That's bestinsmile.com.